Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you. Now, notice how excited I am. Come in. Cable guy's here. <laughs> I'm Tyler. Great to meet you. I'm how Alan. Hi, Tyler. Great to meet nice you. to see you. I'm Alan Thick. Generally, I'm recognized as uh, the dad from Growing Pains or Robin Thicke's father. My wife, Tanya, will be watching. She's a big fan, not of mine, but of Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a sense of humor exactly. that I'm married and I love. So sweet. Well, I'm going to let you boys do your thing. Perfect. I don't want to interrupt anything, but I will be watching on the monitor. Awesome. OK? Right. Very cool. Now, Alan, you behave. Awesome. Tyler and I will do fun. Yes, it'll be a good one. I am a skeptic by nature, scientific by nature. Show me, prove me. I don't have any faith in the afterlife, which is why I'm kind of ambitious while I'm here. I, I figure, let's, let's, get her, let's get her done. And now yes. he's in heaven. Yes. So my job is basically to take all of what I kind of pick up on and deliver it in a way that's going to make sense. Look at how healthy and great he looks. Oh, he looks you amazing, know? handsome man. It's just so crazy. I, mean, I actually kind of feel drawn to a particular object. So I'm going to hold under those glasses, if that's OK. Yes. OK, so I will pick up on those. OK. Um, I have a woman that would be connecting. What's interesting is I'm immediately going to your mom's side of family, and then I feel like I have to highlight grandma, grandma, grandma. She comes through just as this creative, amazing woman who I honestly feel could have, I mean, lived 20 more lifetimes. I mean, this woman is just intense and strong and very high energy in the way this connects. Oh, his grandmother and Alan were so close. I'm seeing a piano bench, and I'm sitting on the bench, and this woman is kind of putting sentimental or some form of significant value kind of around this. Do you know of anyone on your mom's side who played piano who would kind of fit that bill? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Um, would this be your maternal grandmother? Yes. Cool. Isadora uh, was her name, and we called her Izzy. Very strong personality. Isadora was also Izzy the Izzy middle Izzy name Izzy. we were thinking about naming yeah. Charlotte. Mm. So it would have been Charlotte Isadora Thick, uh, in, in honor of his grandmother. Izzy used to play piano in a theater in Northern Ontario for the silent movies. Wow. You killed that one. Yeah, that's very cool. Whoa, I love that. Oh, you crushed it. <laughs> you know, Izzy always had a great sense of humor. And she was the sweetest, kindest, most wonderful soul to be nurtured by. Um, there is an acknowledgment immediately that I have to highlight of a reference to a marriage. And drama comes through and actually acknowledges an immense amount of pride around this marriage but she feels from her perspective that she in life didn't get to see this happen. And basically acknowledging these congratulatory kind of feelings about a wedding. Oh, very sweet. I would have loved to have had our grandparents at our wedding. But I think that when she comes through, not only does she connect to you, but she connects to Tanya. And there is a special connection there. <sighs> this is so amazing. It, it has always somewhat saddened me that a person can live 80 or 90 years, and when all is said and done, right. what is physically left is a pair of glasses. Well, I think it's really clear that these memories and these objects, though they're objects, <laughs> they represent so much more. It's not the object itself, it's the meaning behind that object. That is a remarkable gift. You've uh, reconnected me with one of the great uh, people in my life. Wow. So now, does he get to reconnect with his family? Every single one of those people. He is with. Are you serious? Absolutely. All right. I really want to keep this in mind. Um, I have to talk about health, and it's kind of health with family. For the men in your family, it's really good to just take into consideration that blood pressure is going to be something that we really have to keep in mind. Now. Heart issues, they happen to men. It's not uncommon. But the thing is, is that, uh, let me see what that is. I don't, I don't even know where to start. When it comes to like a family and a gene perspective, it's possible that within your family, there might be multiple men who end up at a later age dealing with blood pressure issues, but also deal with either a heart murmur or heart arrhythmia, but I feel like I have to kind of go to heart and this kind of correlates with blood pressure. So just kind of keep that in mind. I have a couple people who've you know, kind of came through and acknowledged passing in a bit of a similar sense, and it's almost saying, like, keep in mind your own heart, because there's a man who was very stubborn who passed away, and he acknowledges dying as a result of this heart problem. His message is, don't be stubborn like I was. 
Mm. And the feeling is like, this is a strong guy, he's great, he's lovely, but he was really frustrated at the fact that he neglected this because this is something that could have been treatable had we just known about it. I'm not wanting to go. And there's just a feeling of like, don't let, <laughs> don't let you be me, basically, <laughs> in the way this comes across. It's like, keep this in mind, be proactive in your health, do what I didn't, is kind of the message, so. No history of heart disease. Sure. Uh, in the family, sure. uh, with the exception of my sister, mm -hmm. uh, had a heart issue, had open heart surgery. Mm -hmm. Delighted uh, that she's fine now, Great. but uh, can't get much more serious than that. Sure. Uh, just not a genetic line that we've known. Right. Interesting. Okay. That is unbelievable. You said the heart. Right. And how that came through. And we talked about it. Right. I would say, honestly, if this is something that does come into play, it could affect men primarily. I'm not even looking at women so much. This is something that could affect men. So if you yourself notice like blood pressure or heart murmur, just see a doctor. But I feel almost like <laughs> we have to kind of like really take this into consideration. I was really going on about that. Yeah, you were. Uh. Thank you, Dr. Henry. I'm gonna <laughs> take that. I'm gonna take that to heart. Yes, absolutely. I, I just don't understand. When it's our time to go, you know, it's hard for us to understand. Because I was always on top of him about his health. Right. Always on top of him about it. Can I get my review from Tanya? <laughs> you sure can. Tanya? <laughs> Tanya, my dear. <laughs> oh, oh, there she is. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> well. OK. Yeah. Well. First of all, I think, you know, I mean, everything was very emotional, but for me, I am completely touched that his grandmother, who I wanted to meet so badly, passed away before we could meet. The validation, my validation is, you know, I'm his third wife and I've been, we've been together for 17 years and I know that a lot of people had their bets against us. They didn't think that this marriage was gonna last, but to hear something like his grandmother embracing this marriage and, and congratulating us and showering us because I honestly felt her in the room. I could just feel I, I, the energy and, um, and that validation for me, hearing that from his grandmother really meant a lot to me.